Hello all, welcome to part 30 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use and create global variables in Postman tool. So let's get started. So how to use this global variables in Postman tool? So in order to create this global variables, we have to go to a particular location in the postman tool okay so there is an i icon on the postman tool that you have to click in order to get this global variables section or functionality okay so without wasting time i will open this postman tool and when you open this postman tool here you see sometimes it comes here sometimes it depends because the versions of the postman keep changing guys so in my version of the postman tool you see environment quick look this option with a small eye icon is here in some other postman uh, versions uh, you may have a big eye icon and all those stuff okay whatever it is you have to find it by yourself okay in my current version of the postman tool i have this here just click on this and environment and globals two options two sections are being displayed i'm talking about global okay global variables there are no global variables right now i just will click on add option okay the moment I click on add option, global tab got opened here. Here I have to give the variable name. So what I want to do here is uh, in this list users, which uh, API request, which is which I have already saved in this uh, collections. Okay, this request dot in. Okay, is going to be constant, right? Uh, and most of the API calls this is going to be constant. Okay, if you go to single user again, you will have request dot in. Most of the places it is kind of constant. Okay, so what I will do is I'll just copy this area and uh, go to this uh, environment uh, global global variables environment and global variables click on add beside the global variables here i'll give a name like server address okay this is a server address right i'll select this option server address and uh, let it be default initial value you just give that whatever the whatever the server address you copied from the urls so you just paste it here request request dot in okay that's it and just click on save button okay after you save this global variable here go to this uh, get request and here in place of the request dot in you can use a global variable you can access a global variable like this provide double curly braces open curly braces and end them with double closing curly braces in between this open and closing curly braces provide the name of the global variable that is server address okay that's it server address that's it okay so if it is properly colored here, that means you see if you hover the mouse, it's saying uh, the value will be the server address, uh, global variable name. It's like a variable name, guys. It is will be replaced with request dot in. If you are getting this option, means everything is fine. Now just see whether this uh, just save this request and click on send button to see whether this uh, global variable option is working or not. If you are getting a, re a response, then it is working. Otherwise, uh, it's not working. Uh, let's see what happened server address and uh, it's okay so let me click on the send button again why it's not working it's use it has to work actually could not send request get add info e not found api view in console okay what's the problem okay request dot in this is fine now okay so generally we don't get this but somehow it's coming okay i'll just replace this with the request dot in and try once again uh request uh, dot in to see whether okay it's working fine or not save this and click on send button it is working but the moment i replace this request dot in i'll just again go to the just to see whether i have done any mistake or so click on edit and give this uh, uh request dot in properly and save this here this is server address copy the server address better okay because sometimes we do copy mistakes copy paste mistakes or replace this with uh, like this and provide the value okay server address and save this now click on send is it working or not now we are not getting the response what may be the reason guys uh, everything is fine i provided the Thing properly let me check here server address in the request add value as uh, request dot in i did that okay mm. let me do one thing 
I'll close this uh, global variables once. And uh, OK, now let me run this. No. Server address. Over the mouse. It's a global. Clicker is dot in. Everything is fine, guys. But still, it is not working. Let me restart my Postman tool once. Okay. Sometimes it may happen due to temporary glitch. It may not work. Postman. Let's click on this. Let's wait for the postman tool to load. Sometimes it will take some time for the postman tool to appear, guys. Okay, it has appeared and it's still loading. Now click on send button. Sending a request. Could not send request, it is saying still. Get API users here, it's not able to. You uh, replace the server address with that somehow. Endpoint not found. One error. Okay. What's the problem then? Okay. This is a problem only if in that case uh, it's not able to find the endpoint. Uh, okay. Here, server address is saved properly. Maybe current value is not specified. Let's give the current value as a request dot in. Maybe I'm missing that. Let's give the current value also. And now let's run this again. This time it came. So maybe the way we were adding this in uh, global variables is not uh, was not correct, guys. Okay. So I provided only the initial value, current value I missed out. Okay. That's the reason we got the error. And now we are able to troubleshoot that and solve the problem also. Now it is working fine. Server address is being replaced with. You see, here earlier current has not come. Now it is coming. It is working fine. Okay. So I just missed this uh, current value, guys. Okay. That is the problem. Just go to the globals. I only gave the initial value, but I forgot to give the uh, current value. Okay. Make sure that both initial and current values are there. Then only this uh, global value will, will work in this API request. So anyhow, we were able to troubleshoot the problem and uh, it's good that we got that error in the while I'm demonstrating because most of the people may face this problem. They may provide the initial value, but they forget to provide the current value like me. Okay. And hence it is not working. Now, after providing the initial value and current value, it's working fine. Okay. We were able to troubleshoot properly. So, hope guys, how uh, you understood how to use global variables and how to create global variables and use them in the API request in Postman tool. So, like this, you can create any number of global variables that keep constant across the different API requests in your uh, Postman tool. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.